Hello, hello. If you guys want a slightly chatty video where I babble about absolutely nothing, then stay tuned. I literally have sort of come to that point where I can't really come up with any like quick ideas on the fly of what exactly I can do videos on. So I'm just gonna do a mishmash of a bunch of things and um, you'll either like it or you'll hate it. <laughs> so this might be one of those videos where I get a whole pile of dislikes, but you know what? I'm going for it, don't care. So, one of the things that I was gonna actually start with was samples. So, you know, you guys have seen my customs. I have, this is my Burnt Pink B6 um, Van Der Speck Custom, and then this one here is my Hortensa, and this one is for the Hobonichi Weeks. And, um, so I just thought that I would kind of talk a little bit about the customs and like my process and all of that. So I will tell you it's a little overwhelming when you go to the Vander Spec website because there's a lot of options. It's not like a regular store where you just kind of go in and you're like, okay, you know, this is what I have to choose from and this is what I'm gonna buy. So with Vander Spec, you really have the option of customizing your planner any way you want. I mean, I'm telling you any way you want. Now, the more the customizations and the more detailed the customizations are, the more expensive it's going to be. But if you decide you want a cover with like a big, huge A4 clasp, then you'll pay the little bit extra and they will put the A4 clasp. Um, this one here is an A5. This is sort of like my happy place size. It's nice and chunky still, but it's not overly chunky. Um, I do, I, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but I do like the um, A5, uh, A4, I'm sorry, size, which is even thicker than this, but I don't know if I, um, bold enough to get it. I've seen it on a bunch of people's customs and I love it. So that's just an example. If on the inside you don't like the standard configuration here and say you want secretarial pockets here instead, then you can pay that extra. If you want your um, planner to be widened a little bit to allow for more of a chunky book, then you can widen it. I mean, really, it's an endless, endless possibility of things that you can do. So for me, um, something that I end up doing is, and I really do recommend this to people, is I order samples. Now, be patient because, um, this is sort of one of those things that ends up kind of being pushed down and is lower on the ordering totem pole, so it can take a while. This is actually my second set that has had to come because the first set of samples that they sent me somehow got lost in the mail. So these are all the current pieces of ostrich that they had, and I'll just kind of go through them really quick. This one here is anthracite. This one is mouse, it's sort of, to me, it's definitely more got brown undertones, but it is kind of gray as well. Arctic ice, so definitely more in that gray theme. Lynn is sort of in the, let me put it down here and see. Let's zoom in down here. So it's definitely, oops, sorry about the movement. It's sort of like between like a creamy gray. This one I love, Cyclamen. 
So it's definitely, it sort of reminds me a little bit of the Hortense. It's definitely a darker shade, but it's super, a super bright pink, but it has a lot of purple undertones. African Violet is to me like a very close to a plum purple or an eggplant purple. It's pretty, but I am not a, this color purple fan. This is Crystal Blue, stunning color. Don't think I'd be bold enough to get a planner in this color, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So for any of you guys that are into like super bright, bold pops of color, this is it, let me tell you. It's stunning. Then these two I like as well. This one here is Wheat, and that one is, um, you know, just real kind of light brown, taupey kind of colors. And then this one is their uh, Indian Pink, and this one does kind of remind me of the Rosa from Gilio. So real similar kind of tones. So I am, it's not going to be this year, but I am going to be making another um, ostrich planner and it'll, it'll be another X, I'm sure, because that's all I can afford. But, um, you know, I have really just wanted to get some samples and this is all she currently had in stock for the ostrich. So, you know, we'll see, like maybe down the road, I might get some other samples if other people order some different colors so I can see if I want something else. Then these are the new lineups. Um, this one here is called Sakura. And then this one was Stardust and super velvety, really try to get this in there for you guys that are looking at this because I know a lot of people are looking at this color right now. So it's got a, it's very pink. I will say that, at least this sample is. Um, very, very pink. Let's do a pink comparison. So this is my Hortensa. So there you are. Oh, let's zoom out now. Okay, so that's my Hortensa. This is my burnt pink, so it's it's more in those that tone of pinks, but it's definitely darker. And then I have my um, Gilio Aubergine here, and there you go. So boy, when I put this here, it really makes my Aubergine look more in that that salmony kind of color, and not so much on the pink side. Um, but you know, in different lights with the Sakura, I also see some like mild purple undertones. So, you know, just food for thought for those of you looking at this color, cause I know this one has been very popular. Um, it is very smooth, very velvety feeling. It smells like leather. It does not smell like this beast did that smelled like awful chemicals and still, no, I mean, I, there's a slight hint of that chemical smell still left in there, but this thing smells like true leather, not, and I'm not saying the other one's not leather, not by any means. I'm just saying clearly processed differently because these ones really do smell amazing. And so then, um, there's the Stardust. This one is very intriguing to me. I didn't think it would be, but there are just so many depths of color in this sample. It just kind of blows my mind. It's like, there's like gray, there's taupe, there's pink. There's just like, it's, it's such a chameleon. There's, there's so many colors in this sample. Um, I really like that one. And to be honest, that might actually be a very good contender for uh, the cover that I'm looking for. So, and then I just did samples of the Parm and it's not coming off, hang on, very true to color here. Let's get it down. That's a little bit better. That's the Pearl. And then there is the 
Poissier, Poissier, I don't know how they say it, but those are the three new Touch Me colors. So you can see it's sort of a very slight hue of pink, a grayish and more of a, a you know, taupish, brownish type color. So that's, that's those there. So, you know, it is, it's very difficult when you're thinking about, okay, what am I, what am I going to do? Because, you know, like I'll look at this and I'll say, oh man, like these two would make a beautiful cover or this one. And what was the other one? I think it was Lynn, like the pinks and the grays would be beautiful. It's endless. You can really... <laughs> You can just go crazy trying to decide which which color you want your cover to be. So, you know, a few things to note. Like I said, it's the more customization you do, the more expensive it is. Ostrich is generally four to five times more expensive than regular leather. Um, Ostrich X is at least twice as much, if not like two and a half times as much if you go with a, the Ostrich X, which is less quill. So that would be like my ostrich, um, my pink, burnt pink here. You can see, and I've showed you guys this before, like you can't see the quills really sticking out. They're pretty flat. Um, I love that. It, I actually way prefer this than full quill. Um, that's just me. I think they're both beautiful, but personally, Wear-wise, I, I really love the Ostrich X. So, so yes, getting Ostrich will be more expensive. Um, the Sakura and the Stardust, I believe, I know they're, they're a higher percentage more. She didn't write it on here, but they're either plus 15 or plus 20% more for these two colors because of the process of dyeing or, you know, the process of, of getting it in the leather. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you do choose one of these two, it's basically going to be like getting their Janet leather line, which I think it's 20. Um, I will put that in here. I'll look it up and put that in here so that you guys see that when I edit the video. But, you know, it is. It can be tough to make decisions on exactly what to do. Um, so what do I do? Okay, well, let's show you. Um, because I see it all the time, like people will, you know, put stuff in the Facebook groups, like how do I make a decision? Help me decide, da, 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 da. Um, I think that's great. I've done that multiple times as well. It's always good to get ideas from other people. Um, I'm just trying to find one of my custom pages here. So bear with me as we delve through random pages. Here we go. So what I do is um, I will literally... <laughs> In my book, I will just kind of go through and I'll write out how much each of them would be, like each part of the customization would be. And so you can see these were ones, um, this one was for my, da, 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 pen loop widen, well, Parm. So this one was for my personal wide, which I have already sold because I just wasn't using it. Rings are not my thing. Um, kudos to you guys that they are because they're gorgeous and I really want to love rings because they're so fun to set up and I just really enjoy making stuff for them but then I don't enjoy using them so whatever I guess we all have our own thing but so what I did was I just kind of wrote out how much each thing was and this is in euros and um and that just kind of gives me an idea of pricing so you can see like this was for my burnt pink, so I did the standard 25, no rings. Higher was this much, back pocket was this much, pen loop was this much, da 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 da. So I wrote that out. Now, then what I do to try and, let me find the other page, we're getting there, I see the pink, yes. So what I do is, you know, I was trying to really decide, okay, 
so this is what I want, but what am I gonna need to put in it? And this will help me decide, you know, whether or not I need bigger rings or a wider planner or any of that type of thing. So what I would do is I literally, so these were the things, because my personal wide was going to be my wellness planner, these are the things that I had come to the conclusion of I absolutely need in my wellness planner and so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, different inserts. So you're talking eight inserts, eight dividers, eight, you know, so basically I came to the conclusion I needed the biggest set of rings that I could find for my personal wide. And I sort of measured where I thought the thickness would be and decided I really, um, I went with a slightly bigger, um, widening than the standard. I think I added like an additional uh, two centimeters to it. So it definitely was, a B B6 inserts fit into it. You just couldn't really use dividers, but full B6 inserts fit in there. So it was a honkin' planner and it was beautiful and I absolutely loved it. And I love the Parm because Parm is gorgeous but I really wasn't using it enough and I'm sort of at that point where I need to get rid of the ones that I'm not using. So with that being said, I sold I sold it. And to whoever bought it, if you see my video, thank you. I think actually I saw that she had it for sale too. <laughs> so obviously it wasn't working for her either. Um, B6 was another one that I tried and I made all of these. <sighs> crazy enough. I made all of these and it just, I couldn't get it to work. And really it all came down to rings, you know, because I had to figure out what is wrong with me? What is wrong? Like these planners are absolutely gorgeous. These covers are gorgeous. I'm putting in some like amazing inserts from some really great shops. Why can I not find planner piece? And for me, it really was the fact that the rings just drove me nuts. So like when I was writing or when I was planning, I really felt like my hand was constantly bunging into the rings and it just, it wasn't working for me. So I started, that's when I started playing with, okay, and really came to a lot of this realization during One Book July. I'm so, so thankful for one book July this year, I can't even tell you, because it really settled me a little bit and it helped me realize, okay, this doesn't work and this doesn't work. And this I still have. Um, it's the only ring planner that I still have and it's because it is so gorgeous and it's my last one and I refuse to get rid of it. And that's my Lilla um, and, and it's a Mia Cara. So I'm gonna keep it because really I, I could still use it to put a B6 in there if I felt like it. So yeah, I'm just not getting rid of that one. But um, so really I just, I, I've landed into this. I really, as you can see, the beginning of my journey with my, here we go again, Stology? <laughs> Nobody ever corrected me to tell me how to say this right. The beginning of my journey was really, I wouldn't say a junk journal. I was putting random lists. I was just putting um, just like, you know, pictures of planners. Oh, look, there she is. <laughs> um, I was just doing randomness in here, like Christmas card list and oops, can't see that. And, um, you know, this was, like I said, the stuff for my planning and just randomness. And then I was like, you know, I really could use this for a daily because I really wish my Hobonichi Weeks had a daily. And so like, this was my medication stuff for my autoimmune issue. And like I had to go through this like federal funding thing because it's not FDA approved and oh goodness. Anyway, we won't get into that, but look, so then here's me going through my plan and this was my plan for my codex. And um, so this is the one that I am, is my, um, my brain won't work. It's gray. Mm-hmm and it's Hortensa on the inside. Ugh, 
I can't remember the name of the gray now. It's driving me nuts. But that's how that's how things go. My brain doesn't always work. So, um, but I use this one for my sermon notes. And this is the one that I was talking about the possibility of selling. That's why, <clears throat> that's why I got these. Because I wanted to see, like, is there another color that I enjoy better than that gray that I can't remember the name of and it's driving me nuts. It'll come to me when I shut the video down. If I remember, I'm going to insert it right here. Do, 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 do. Actually, I won't remember, but I'm going to go and look it up. <laughs> so it'll be here. Um, so yes, so that's why I've toyed with selling that one and maybe picking something a little bit better because tapestry, it's tapestry gray. Because the tapestry is a little dark for me and I really, I kind of, I like these two grays here. They're definitely a little bit just lighter and a little more muted. So that's Arctic Ice and Lynn. I like those two. Don't know if I'm going to do that, but it's still something in my brain to think about for the beginning of the year. But of course, this one's beautiful too. And so is this one. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm off on another bunny trail. But so basically in the beginning I was just using it for randomness and then I was like hey I could really use this for a daily and then look this well I started out weekly my son's graduation stuff um so I just was doing weekly to do's and then I was like let's try when do I do it up ah, here it is then I actually start doing trying out different dailies this one didn't work for my brain. I talked about that before. But then when I got to the vertical, I was like, la, and it just hit. It was like, wow, this, this is really nice and I really am enjoying it. And so there you go. Now that this is my happy place, I use this in conjunction. I have put um, a lot of these things that I had had, where is it? Like these things were in my uh, wellness tracker. I just pulled all of them in, printed them out, stuck them on here. I have also some other things that were in my B6. So these are empty, but like shop names and then um, expense things, expense things that I'm buying, car maintenance. All of these were in my, either my personal wide or my B6 and I just whoop, consolidated them into here because it works and it's great and I'm really, really enjoying it. And that's just what I'm gonna keep doing. Um, I did start planning and I know I've gotten off on a bunny trail, but I am kind of talking about, you know, planner piece and how, how I got there for me with my planner. Um, but just basically the bound book was working great for me. And I said, you know what, this is what I'm going to stick with because this is, this is what actually works for me. Now you might be somebody that's like rings really work for me because I can move stuff around and the portability of it is great. That's awesome. And so stick with that, you know? I think really <clears throat> we get ourselves like off track of what can work and what can't. So, you know, we really just just really try to establish what does work for you and and just stick to it because that's really what's going to be best for you in the long run and get you the planner piece. Now, I've talked about this before. Planner piece, folks, does not mean cover piece, okay? Oh my god, I like me some bags. I like me some nice leather. And I am not going to be somebody that's going to just stick with the same covers because I like my covers to look fresh and new and beautiful and I like to change them for seasons and so on and so forth. And so that's why right now I'm in this pink instead of my Inno Blue. I'm giving that one a break and I'm using this one still because I adore it, but I really want to get another one so that I have 
something to switch out to to give this cover a break it's just like bags you know it's it's very similar to me um the guts are going to be the same i'm just going to port this out and and put it in a different leather cover and it's going to be the same for my hobonichi weeks you know the guts will will remain the same i'll just pull it out and use a different cover so Planner piece and cover piece are two different things. <laughs> so now if you're a minimalist or you just don't want to have a bunch of different leather covers, that's great too. Do what works for you. So anyway, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, give me your opinions. I'm, I'm not going to take them. <laughs> I mean, I always love to see people's opinions and what colors like they're really drawn to. But obviously at the end of the day, I'm gonna choose what what I'm drawn to and not what somebody else is. But what do you think? Like, you know, what if if you could choose one of these, which one would you choose? Um, you know, same thing, like between the Sakura and the um Stardust, which one would you choose? Which one do you like better? Um, you know, which one is more you? I, I just like I said, I, I really love engaging in the comments. I love seeing what you guys think and, and how your brains work. And I just think it's amazing. And I really, I just, I don't know. I love that about the community. I love that there's something for everybody and we can all enjoy things differently, um, but still have like some common ground. So anyway, I know it was a rambly video. I warned you, <laughs> but I was just kind of excited in a geeky little way about getting my samples. I wanted to share it with you and I didn't want it to just be a monotonous, here is the Sakura and here is the Stardust. And you know, I wanted to talk to, to you guys about it a little bit. So anyway, um, yeah, things are still really busy for me and, um, yeah, what is it? It's like 17 or 18 days before we literally pack up and go. So, um, I mean, we have a lot packed up, more than 50%. Like, you know, three quarters of our stuff is packed up. I'm hearing about it all the time. Mom, where's my such and such? Ha <laughs> ha, oops, I packed it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I am I will be glad once we get settled and get the house renovated and can move in because then all my stuff can come out and uh, I don't have to keep getting yelled at about everything being packed. But anyway, so thank you guys for joining me and following along in this journey. I'll keep you posted about this. Like I said, this is going to be a next year thing because I promised myself that I would not be buying any more customs this year. So, um, and plus I have, you know, a big move and renovations. So I have to be financially responsible, but next year I will um, probably get one custom and I'm excited to just play with the leathers and see how they age and how they do. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you know when my videos are coming up. Follow me on Instagram and you know, all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.